Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Wingens, and in this video, I want to go over this really cool film effect right here. So here are a whole bunch of different film overlays. Now this pack is from Cinepax, but don't worry, this pack is free. You could actually buy the actual paid pack, but in this video, I just wanna go over the free pack that Cinepax has to offer. So here are the whole bunch of different film overlays. So you have these three, and then you have this really cool Kodak with this film transition right here. Um, a couple of other things that it comes with is it also comes with a, a couple different Kodak filters too. It comes with this codex slide right here, and then it also comes with this codex slide right there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just go over these three right here and this transition. So this right here, this right here is a split quad three. So you wanna just import it right here, split quad three right here. So let's go ahead and just disable the top clip right here, and this is what it looks like right here. It just kind of creates a really cool filter. Now I guess you don't really have to add it but by adding this you kind of like this definitely looks pretty cool but the edges the edges are really really sharp but if you have this effect the edges are a lot rounder so of course it depends on what look you want to go for right here so let's go ahead and just disable it right here and then you have this clip right here as you can see you can just move this clip all around so you have this right clip right here and then I encourage you for these three clips right here now this one is, is a copy of this clip you don't have to have two copies you can have all four of these clips different but I encourage you to have these three this strip right here to be um, in a compound clip which as you can see right here this is in a compound clip right here and of course you can see right here is the top clip middle clip bottom clip right here as you can see here is the top clip right here here is the middle clip right here and then here is the bottom clip right here and I basically just create a compound clip all you gotta do to create a compound clip is select all the clips and then cl click on new compound clip right here as you can see that's basically the first effect right here it basically just splits all these into four different clips right here and of course I encourage you to keep those three into a compound clip and then move this clip right over here which is right here and again you don't have to have this effect because you can still create it but with having this effect it just makes the edges um, a lot rounder so of course that is all a personal preference but that's the first one the split quad three so let's head over to this one right here which is the fuji rpd 16 by 901 right here so i'm guessing it says 01 there's probably like five or ten of these effects but here's what it looks like right here let's go ahead and just disable it right here and again it's pretty much the same idea as the first one like it still definitely looks pretty cool because you have a split screen but by adding this filter on top it just helps round out the edges and just helps it make a look look a lot nicer right here so as you can see right here here is the right clip right here so basically just use the transform tool and cropped it over here you have the middle clip right here and then you have the left clip right here so you obviously as you can see right here I mess with the crop I mess with the scale and mess with the position so you're basically just putting all three of these clips into the right position cropping them if necessary and of course all three of these are duplicates of each other but there you go that's how you create that really cool effect right here. And now I wanna show you this really cool um, transition right here. And this is what the transition looks like right here. So what you're gonna do is, you can see I already put a marker right here. So let's start with the transition right here. So as you can see, we'll go frame by frame. And we'll just go ahead, as you can see right here, the transition is starting right here. And then what I did was I put the marker exactly when you see the second video right here. So you wanna wait, obviously it's black, black, black. You, you don't wanna do anything right now. But as soon as you see the first video, that's where you see the second video, the second, second or third clip, you wanna line it up right here. So you can see right here, and there we go, we lined it up, and there we go, it's transitioning into the second clip right there. As you can see right here, let's go ahead and just disable it right here. Again, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just a split screen, but this filter helps smooth out the edges and makes it look a lot nicer right here. So as you can see right here, you have the right clip right here, obviously transformed it. I mean, uh, change the position, change the crop, and then you have this left clip right here. So basically just creating a split screen right there, and then you're using this filter to help make it look a lot cooler. And again, like you don't have to add this filter, you could just have it look like that. But this really cool overlay, this filter, definitely makes it look a lot cooler, especially when the edges just aren't as super as sharp. So you have some in between. So I think it definitely looks pretty cool. But of 
course, that's uh, all of your personal preference. You may not like this, you may like having the sharp edges, but if you want this really cool film look and you want these really cool like round edges and stuff like that, like if, for example, if I disable it right here, you just see like a really sharp line, but with this black overlay, you don't see that really sharp line. So it definitely creates a really cool look. And at the end of the day, it's a personal preference, whatever look you want, you can definitely go ahead and adjust it to your look, but I personally really like this Kodak um, transition right here. I think that I think that I think this is a really cool um, transition, and I'll probably be using this a lot more in the future. And again, like I showed, it comes with a couple other Kodak filters if you want. But I think the Kodak filters probably don't work well for widescreen or like YouTube videos. Those probably work better for Instagram videos. And because my primary focus is YouTube, I'm just going over the different filters you, you could probably use for widescreen, horizontal. Um, uh, YouTube videos or videos for Facebook and stuff like that, but this is what the final edit looks like This is just like a, a rough little edit that I put together Of course you want to put a little more time into it and stuff like that and maybe change the clips but This is kind of just what I came up with and hopefully you got get some kind of inspiration from it And hopefully something one of these clips or one of these ideas helps inspire you to create your own effect Obviously, it doesn't have to be football, but this is just an example that I used for um, this tutorial So hopefully you found this helpful and informative hopefully and basically, hopefully, you, you gain some kind of really cool inspiration or really cool ideas from um, this video right here. Anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 130 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.